help students get feedback using uh, GPT-4, GPT-3, GPT-4. So the faculty can put questions and student put the answers and the GPT will go and analyze it and give feedback to the student, uh, very detailed feedback. So I'll show you an example of that one. I have a course here on Java programming. So let's start by maybe creating a new, uh, we'll call it testing uh, GPT-4, okay? We'll not call it anything else. So let's just add that one. So we have now here testing GPT-4. I can now create some exercises or questions. So the first question I'll create, I just to save you time, I'll put some question here. This is a question about asking to create a Java program for a bank account. And you say, make sure you, uh, to use the appropriate uh, access modifier, appropriate set and get methods constructor and, and so on. So I'll just put the question here and we'll say this one 10 marks and add it there. Let's add a few more questions from different subjects. Like for example, I'm looking at the business here. Uh, this is general business question. So we're saying, uh, what do you believe are the most important factors to consider when starting a new, a new business and why? <coughs> so we'll come here, we'll add this one. Let's give it any, any marks, 10 is, is always good. And now we'll add the third one, which uh, may be a little different. It's for English course. So here we'll say, read the following uh, uh, story and answer the following questions, okay? This is more a comprehension uh, uh, question in English language. So I'll just put that one there. This will give it 20, so many things there. Now it's there. Now the student, what will the student will do now? The student will come to, to this one and there should be other content, but now we're just creating this one only. So I can click on uh, exercise. Now I am the student, so these are the questions. Let me click on the first one. I will provide an answer. I put an answer here for that questions. Try to be uh, to get better feedback. So let's see what will come. We'll copy this one. I'm now the student. I did mine, I put it here, and I submitted it. Okay. Now what will happen if I go back here after some time, I will, should get the feedback coming. Now it will take some time to, to, come, to come in, but it came, that's it. So I would uh, give the student 75 out of 100, this is ChatGPT. Overall, the student has demonstrated an understanding of how to create a Java class for a bank account, including blah, blah. However, there are few issues with the code, which I, on purpose, I kept them, kept them there. First, a default constructor should not have a return. And I made a mistake there just to uh, get the student to know the, the issue. So give me feedback on the second one. There's a mistake in the method uh, instead of uh, appending, uh, I added, uh, so it gave me the correct uh, answer. So it's correcting everything and sending me. Finally, while the withdraw method uh, work correctly, uh, it would be a good idea to include additional uh, check uh, so I didn't remove the part that should check if there is enough balance there. So give me a feedback on that one. This was very good feedback, I think. Uh, the grade you can, uh, faculty can hide it and then later can read it and decide the right, right grade. But it gives you some estimate out of, of, of 100. This is the way we um, configured uh, ChatGPT to, to do that, but we can have different way. Now, the other question about the general business, let's see if we submit this one about the general business and see what will happen. So the answer I put here is here and say the idea is the most important thing into, into the, the business. Uh, everything else is, is okay. We'll see what GBT or GBT will think of, of this uh, answers, which uh, 
very simple, simple uh, way of putting it. The good thing I'm also getting, or a student is getting an in email or a message, email and also a Teams message telling him the feedback. So you get the feedback. This is the Java question. So he came here and gave me the code, gave me the feedback. So you shouldn't get it on that. Uh, he also, also or she will get it on the email uh, as well. So there's no way he or she can escape that, that feedback. Now for this question, it gave only 50%. Uh, I agree with that uh, because not only the idea uh, should be more, more than that. And you can see the feedback is very good, nice feedback, which you can, you can read. And again, I'll get uh, Microsoft Teams a message of this. I'll get an email. Uh, as well uh, for it to do. Now the last one is more, uh, there is a story that we, the student need to read and there are questions he need to answer related to the story. So um, I didn't test this one, I'm going to see how it will work now. So I have put some answers here, which uh, here, and try to be average answers with some uh, uh, issues with it, but we'll see what, uh, ChatGPT uh, or our system will give us now. So I submitted it. I'll come back after some time. It takes time. And, uh, I would give the student answer 90. The student answered all of the comprehension question. Yes, I answered correctly and demonstrated a good understanding of the story. However, the student could have uh, provided more details uh, in uh, some of the answer of the question. Now it's again the way we ask the question here. If we specify more details, the feedback will be more details. You can see the questions that I provided on Java one, because that's something I understand. I have provided some more details. So I need, we need to make sure they use the correct access modifier. They should use appropriate set and get method constructors and data type. So the question was more specific and if it's written better than even this one, the feedback will student will get will be, will be more um, helpful, uh, hopefully, uh, to do it. So that's just what I wanted to show you. I hope you find it useful. Uh, if you're interested to know uh, how we created this one, I can maybe do another uh, session on this one so you can uh, know how to do it. But I think it's amazing tools, student on their own, studying, they want to practice, you can add to them any number of questions. You're not worried that you will spend time grading it. And also the student will get instant feedback on those uh, questions and that hopefully will improve their learning. Someone will say to me, maybe the student will use chat GBT to give the answers. That a different story which uh, needs a different workshop to do. But here I'm interested of those who really wanted to learn and the method that we can use this even in the classroom. When the students in classroom give them assignment, you can block uh, access to uh, to chat GBT or whatever and get the student to do the work in the, in the cl classroom. Uh, but that's something I would like to share with you and we'll be very happy to hear your feedback uh, on this.